and welcome to our class on history and scope of microbiology. Microbiology is the study of microorganisms which are tiny living organisms that are too small to be seen with naked eye. These organisms include bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa and algae. Over the course of this class, we will explore the history of microbiology and the significant contribution of scientists throughout the ages. So let's get started and dive into the fascinating world of microbiology. So first, let's see about the early discoveries. Lucretius, a Roman philosopher and Guillermo Fracastro, a physician, believed that invisible creatures were responsible for the disease. And next, Francisco Stellucci, who observed that bees and weevils using a microscope in the 1600s. Next, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, who is considered as father of microbiology, was the first to report the microorganisms in Royal Society, and he called his microorganisms as animalcules. 50 to 300 magnification was his microscope. And next, spontaneous generation theory. This theory states that life could originate from non-living or decomposing matter. And next, this theory was supported by Aristotle, John Needham and Felix Pochert. Aristotle, he believed that simple invertebrates could arise by spontaneous generation. And next, John Needham, he boiled the mutton broth when sealed and still observed the growth after a period of time. And next, Felix Pochert, he proved the growth without the contamination from air. And next, this theory was disproved by Francisco Reddy, Schwann, Frederick Schroeder and Von Desch, John Tyndall, Louis Pasteur and Lazarus Palanzoni. First about Francisco Reddy. The maggot unable to grow on meat if meat was covered with gas. And next about Schwann, Schroeder and Von Desch. The air allowed to enter the flask but only after passing through a heated tube or sterile wool. And next about John Tyndall, he developed Tyndallization, that is, intermittent heating and cooling, thereby omission of dust, no growth was found. Demonstrated that heat-resistant forms of bacteria called endospores. And next, about Louis Pasteur, he disproved the spontaneous generation theory by Svanet flask. He heated the neck of flask sterilized the media and left the flask open to the air. No growth was observed because dust particles carrying the organism did not reach the medium. Instead, they get trapped in the neck of the flask. If the neck were broken, dust would settle and the organism would grow. In this way, Pasteur disproved the theory of spontaneous generation. And next, demonstration that microorganisms cause disease. First about Agostino Bessi, 1773-1856. He showed that a silicone disease was caused by a fungus. And next, Berkeley, in 1845. He demonstrated that the great potato blade of Ireland was caused by a fungus. And next, Louis Pasteur. He showed that the pebrine disease of silicone was caused by a protozoal parasite. So, Louis Pasteur was considered as father of modern microbiology. And next, about Joseph Lister, period of 1827 to 1912, he developed a system of surgery designed to prevent the microorganisms from entering wounds. Phenol spread in air around the surgical incision, decreased the number of post-operative infection in patients. His published findings, 1867, transformed the practice of surgery. And next, Charles Chamberlain, period of 1851-1908. He identified the viruses as disease-causing agents, tobacco mosaic virus. And next, Edward Jenner. He used a vaccination procedure to protect the individuals from smallpox. And next, Louis Pasteur. He developed other vaccines, including those for chicken cholera, anthrax, and rabies. Annexed, Ignace Semmelweis, 
demonstrated that childbed fever, puerperal fever was caused by streptococcal infections, was transmitted to patients by doctor's hand. Annexed Emil von Bering and Shibabura Kitasato induced the formation of diphtheria tetanus antitoxins in rabbits which were effectively used to treat the humans thus demonstrating the humoral immunity. Annexed Ellie Mechenkov, he demonstrated that existence of phagocytic cells in the blood thus demonstrating cell mediated immunity. Annexed Robert Koch Using the criteria developed by his teacher Jacob Hen, he established the relationship between Bacillus anthracis and anthrax. His criteria became known as Koch postulates and are still used to establish the link between a particular microorganism and a particular disease. And let's see about the Koch postulates. So first postulate, a causative agent must be present in all the affected organisms but absent in healthy individuals and comes second the agent must be capable of being isolated and cultured in pure form then third when the cultured agent is introduced to a healthy organism the same disease must occur and at last the same causative agent must be isolated again from the affected host and next the development of vaccines and antisera Edward Jenner in 1796 discovered that cowpox induced protection against human smallpox. Annexed, Pasteur and Chamberlain developed other vaccines, attenuated anthrax vaccine, chemical and heat treatment, potassium bichromate, and attenuated rabies vaccine that is propagated the virus in rabbit following the injection of infected brains and spinal cord extracts. Annexed, about Louis Pasteur contribution, he demonstrated that alcoholic fermentations were the result of microbial activity, that some organism could decrease a alcohol yield and soar of the product, and some fermentation were aerobic and some anaerobic. He also developed the process of pasteurization to preserve the wine during storage. Annexed about Sergei Vinogradsky, he is considered as father of soil microbiology. He worked with soil bacteria and discovered that they could oxidize the iron, sulfur and ammonia to obtain the energy. He discovered hemoautotrophy and he also studied the anaerobic nitrogen fixation and cellulose decomposition. Annexed George Beadle and Edward Tatum. He studied the relationship between genes and enzymes using the blood mold neurospora. One gene, one polypeptide hypothesis was given by Beadle and Tatum. Annexed about Salvador Luria and Max Delberg, he demonstrated that spontaneous gene mutation in bacteria not directed by the environment. Annexed Oswald T. Avery, Colin M. McLeod, and Macklin M. Cotty. Followed the initial studies by Frederick Griffith, they provided evidence that DNA was the genetic material and carried the genetic information during transformation. So, if you have any doubt, please ask under the comment section. For more videos, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.